Can I find the router username and password without resetting it? Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss a commonly asked question. Can I find the router's username and password without resetting it? Well, the answer isn't a simple yes or no. But don't worry. We're going to break it down for you. Why might I need to find my router's username and password? You might need to find your router's username and password for various reasons. Maybe you want to change the Wi-Fi password, or perhaps you need to set up a new device on your network. In any case, knowing how to find these credentials without resetting your router can be incredibly helpful. Is the default username and password still in use? The easiest scenario is if your router is still using the default username and password. These credentials are often listed on a sticker somewhere on the router itself. Alternatively, you can look up the default credentials for your specific router model online. However, if you or someone else has changed these details in the past, finding the username and password becomes more challenging. Can I use saved passwords on my devices? If you've saved your router's credentials on a computer or mobile device, you might be able to find the username and password through your device's network settings. For example, on a Windows computer, you can view saved Wi-Fi passwords by navigating to Network and Sharing Center. What if I can't find the saved passwords or default isn't working? If the default credentials aren't working and you can't find the saved passwords, you're facing a tougher situation. Unfortunately, there's no guaranteed method to retrieve a changed router password without resetting it. Finding your router's username and password without resetting it can be simple or a bit tricky depending on your situation. If the router is still using default credentials, it's an easy find. If your device has saved the credentials, it's also not too difficult. But if neither of these options is available, you may have to resort to a factory reset to regain access. This concludes our video for today. Hopefully, you've gained a better understanding of how to navigate this common issue. Remember to always keep a record of your changed credentials to avoid this problem in the future. Happy networking!